Hey guys, it's Joe, Joe's Tropicals. I thought I'd do something different today and give you guys a look at some of my indoor tropicals. So we'll start off with my starfruit tree here. And last year sometime I gave it a real hard, heavy prune um, because it was growing really lanky and it was quite flimsy. And I just wanted this stem here to get a lot thicker. So it's doing really well now. I started to leaf out which I'm really happy about because it took a, a long time to leaf out. Now the weather's starting to warm up. It's, uh, I mean, some really fast growth here, quick growth. So really lovely leaves, gorgeous leaves. And yeah, it's doing really well. So I've had this starfruit tree for whew, at least over five years, I would say. And what I feed it is a liquid seaweed feed and some uh, fish blood and bone so that seems to do the trick now star fruit can um, be very su um, susceptible in indoors to spider mites so I have to keep an eye on that um, and if I do have any issues I'll spray it with some uh, neem oil mixed with some washing up liquid and some warm water so we'll move on to my focus here onto my sapodilla or chico sapote and this is a real slow grower but doing really well nice and healthy nice green leaves um, but as you can see the stem is really thin really thin but apparently chico sapote or sapodilla takes a very long time to um to grow but I'm really pleased with that. And then we'll go down to my my uh, lychee. I grew these from seed. And as you can see, I've cut some of the leaves. I've repotted them a few, oh, at least about three weeks ago um, because they were in some tiny pots and they weren't doing well at all. But now we're starting to have some new growth, if you can see here. And on this one here, some nice, healthy new growth on here in their new larger pots so they should do well and then over here this is I mean that's that's an avocado it looks pretty pretty pathetic um, at the moment but there's a story behind this I actually if you check out one of my videos I um, on avocados um, one that's growing in, in South London uh, and bearing fruit, delicious fruit at that. Um, I actually went there yesterday, met the owner, and they allowed me to pluck this out from the, the base of the, the large tree. And that had a root attached to it, so I'm really pleased about this, and this is going to do really well. And then we'll move on to my, my papaya. I grew these from seed. Now, they do look a little bit... You know bad at the moment but i've repotted them into a much larger pot really good sandy soil healthy soil and i mean these are doing really well they've overwintered in my uh in my house so kept them out of the really cold weather wintry weather and these are doing really well this one's a lot better looks a lot healthier but yeah nice the fruit was delicious so I'm hoping, as I've got two, that um, they will fruit for me at some point. And then down here we have some sunflowers, which obviously are not tropical, but germinate some sunflowers. I've got them indoors, um, along with some sweet corn that I'm germinating. Some have started to come up, as you can see, just there. And the reason why I've got these indoors and not outside in my greenhouse is because the slugs and the snails love the fresh new growth and basically just finish them off before they get tall enough to to um, to be hard in, hardened off so i thought i'd bring them indoors so anyway guys that's a, a quick um look at my indoor tropicals and i hope you like i hope you like i hope you like the video if you have liked the video um please put a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. 
Happy gardening, guys.